hey guys this is the another video tutorial of windows system programming in this tutorial we'll see ipc mechanism so what is the ipc mechanism it's a mechanism which is used for communicating between different processes so there are various ipc mechanism but today we'll see the pipe pipe is a ipc mechanism which is used for communicating the local processes or different processes it has a two type anonymous pipe or unnamed pipe second one is the named pipe so today in this uh, video we'll see how to create unnamed or anonymous pipe so here are the some point about the anonymous pipe before going to a start here are the diagram of the anonymous pipe so pipe basically just a normal pipe just you have to assume and there is one end a and another end is b so from A end we can read or write and from the another end we can read or write. Suppose from one end I am performing the write operation. So from the another end we can read. Means this is the simplex communicating of the processes. Means either from one end we can read or write and from the another end we can read or write so suppose from this end here I am performing the write operation then another end we have to read and this communication will happen by the pipe so here are the some basic point use for one way communication or unidirectional so anonymous pipe is unidirectional anonymous pipe is local to the system suppose I want to communicate I have a two computer systems I, I have to communicate from one computer to another computer so we cannot use the anonymous or unnamed pipe for that communication second third point is that anonymous pipe cannot use over the network so we can communicate within a system at the end at the one end we can read or write sorry here the spelling mistake and from other end we can read or write so let's change change it okay so uh, I'll suggest you get that you can check my tutorial number 5 how to perform read file and write file operation from that so because this API I'll use in unnamed pipe so here are the API API is that create pipe function create an anonymous pipe and return handle to the read and write end of the pipe so if you see the return type of that function is a bool means boolean type and it takes four argument first argument is the read pipe second one is the write pipe this is the handle which uh, we have taken from the we will take from the read file and write file api and third is the optional security attribute so i'll keep it here null and size so see the here size the size of the buffer of the pipe in a bytes so I'll write one buffer for that and return value if the function succeeds the return value is non zero if the function fails the return value is zero and we can print the error number with the help of get last error function so here are the API function for the write file operation write file just we have to pass we have to create the one handle and we have to pass the handle here then here the your buffer means number of bytes how much means how many number of bytes we have to write and here is the pointer which point to that string and this one is the overlap parameter so I'll recommend you that go and check my tutorial number 5 for the write file and read file for more information same thing these are there so let's say our coding so first I'll use here 
uh, create pipe API so I'll use here B create pipe B create pipe sorry so create pipe and first argument is the H read pipe means handle we have to pass so handle suppose I am writing here H read file second is write file h write file h write file means if you see the variable then you can easily understand what is the return type of that variable so that's why h write file means the return type of that uh, is the handle type security attribute so i'll keep it here now so buffer size uh, divot type so what i'll do here I have already copied from the previous so okay just I'm copying all these things here okay so this is the handle for read okay just copy and paste it here null and buffer size so see here I have taken the one buffer size is 512 and I have written the the string hello pipe and we can get the buffer size with the help of size of operator and these are the write file and read file API I'll use in this program and uh, you have seen here means uh, number of bytes to return like that so I have used here so same thing so see I'll write here size of buffer if you see the last argument is size of buffer so I'll put it here the size of buffer now then after that we have to check for the condition if if we create pipe equals to equals to false because the return type of that function is the bool type so C out I'll use here C out we can print the get last error create pipe failed and error number we can print with the help of get last error function otherwise just copy and paste it here create by failed and error number means here we have to perform the create pipe success that's it now so first step is that we have already created our pipe so what I'll do here first I'll perform the write file operation so just copy So H read. Okay, these things are right. 
will see. And in a similar way, I'll copy these things. Again, I'm telling you that you can check my tutorial number five for how to perform read and write operation from and then after performing the write we have to close the handle otherwise we will not able to read from the another end and then in a similar way I'll copy it we have to perform your H read after reading we have to close that handle so you can check for the write file condition but I will not check here okay so if I write like that this is the return type means pointer to handle so it looks good so now just it's time to build our code so I'm building so build succeeded now run our code so create pipe success so I have done your mistake because after performing the read we have to print we have to print the message from the terminal so here I am writing read from pipe your buffer name so buffer name is SZ buffer first we have to write in this buffer and then we are writing we are reading from that buffer so just control C and paste it here so debug okay yes so see create pipe success read from pipe is hello pipe so first I'll uh, I've created the one variable for the create pipe second one is the handle for read and write third is the buffer sorry buffer and I have I'm putting one string hello pipe and that buffer so I have taken the size of that buffer and these two things use for the create uh, for write file and read file operation and these two things use here number of bytes to write and here number of bytes to read so this was the basic program of how to create pipe thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel